Hello Patriots, the Giggling Conservative here, and I had some comments, uh, people asking me if Nancy Pelosi was going to be removed from office. So uh, I looked into that, got with my uh, two sources, TRVR and JRT, and here's what we have. Uh, a petition has been sent to the White House uh, by police officers, and uh, you have to have at least a hundred thousand signatures to get the White House to respond and they have a hundred and thirty four thousand twenty four signatures which means that the White House has to respond in 60 days which will be February the 17th 2019 and here's how the petition reads Nancy Pelosi is a traitor to the American people the Constitution defines treason against the U.S. adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. Illegal aliens are enemies that invade our country with drugs, human trafficking, and terrorists causing death and crime to American citizens. Nancy Pelosi adheres to these enemies by voting for uh, providing them aid and comfort through sanctuary policies funded by U.S. citizen tax dollars and refuses to protect American people by refusing to fund our border wall, leaving our borders open and unsafe. Pelosi refused to meet with angel families, caused the government to shut down, then traveled on U.S. dollars to Hawaii and Puerto Rico while 800,000 federal workers don't get paid and uninvited Trump for the State of the Union. Impeach Pelosi for treason. That's how it reads. And here are just a few of Nancy Pelosi's treasonous actions. Nancy Pelosi voted nay on H.R. 3004 Kate's Law, which was a bill that increases criminal penalties of undocumented immigrants re-entering the United States after be being deported once already. Kate Steinle, an American citizen, was murdered in San Francisco in Nancy Pelosi's very own district by an illegal alien who was a seven-time felon and deported five times. Again, Nancy Pelosi voted no to Kate's law, voted no to protecting her own citizens, voted no against Americans over illegals. This clearly provides aid and comfort to enemies of Americans. She refuses to fund our border wall of $5.7 billion for our national security. Particularly, she wants to send $10 billion to Mexico in foreign aid this year, yet refuses to meet with our president for lunch to work out a deal for our safety and government budget. She used our hard-earned tax dollars to pay her travel, expense, travel expenses to fly to Hawaii and vacation, then turning right around to fly and party in Puerto Rico with lobbyists, PACs, and celebrities, while simultaneously forcing the government to shut down, causing 800,000 federal workers to not get paid. And this is so serious that I'm not even going to do a lighter side today. Uh, people, 2020, we need to get out and vote red to save America. Democrats are ruining our country. And this is the giggling conservative. And it's a serious day, but laughter is the best medicine. With your